You are serving a God who changes situations. You are not a write-off. You are not a failure. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Victory is yours on earth today. By spiritual birth, you are qualified for a life of much more. So what you say is what you make. If you speak grace, you experience grace. You speak disaster, you experience disaster. You speak doom, you experience doom. You speak love, you receive love. So what you express is what you experience. Your Christian adventure will take on a new identity. Whereas you were struggling, you will stop struggling. God will give you divine speed. You know, some people have suffered so much, they are now blaming God. Some have stopped coming to church. God is not fast enough. He's not doing it. You see, God is not, God is not, God is not. The challenge is lack of revelation. What you couldn't do for yourself all these years, now you will see God's finger, you will see God's hand, you will see God's arm, you will see God's power doing it for you. Somebody is about to see God like he has never seen God before. You heard that people get healed. We will hear that you are healed. You have heard that people were blessed by God. Somebody had a miracle you will begin to shout your testimony from this service. Favor is that supernatural intervention that will make a man that has never built a house to be given one. It is the favor of God. God will make you a weighty person from this service. When you show up, everything around will change hello and welcome to new experience telecast pastor chris oare here and i am excited so excited that you can join me today on this telecast you see the subject we've been looking at in recent times is powerful it's so powerful the subject is divine favor the ability of God released into your life to help you do what you cannot do for yourself. You see, when God gives a man a vision, he doesn't give him what he can do. He gives a man a vision of what he, God, can do through the man. So you need God's help to be able to fulfill the vision that God has for your life. Your dream can come to pass, but you need the help of God. That's what favor is about. Favor is God stepping in to do through you and for you beyond your ability to do for yourself. This accounts, a lack of favor accounts for the uh, frustration in the lives of many people. There are people pursuing their dreams but they can't accomplish it. What you thought you could do at the age of 20, you are 40 years old but you, you, you're not even close to achieving it. You're not even around the environment to achieve it. But good news is here. That's what the gospel is about, good news. God can do it for you and he can do it through you. In this service, I'm going to show you from the scriptures, by the grace of God, how to make a connection with the favor of God to engage your destiny on a fast track to get into that place that God really intended for you to be. So there's about to be a translocation for you, moving you from where you are now to where you ought to be. I'll be back after this message to share a word of prayer with you. Everything is already changing. We'll see you very shortly. Thank you, Jesus. The favor of God will cause God to grant our heart's desires. He said the desires of the righteous shall be granted. So God will grant the desires of the heart of his children. And the favor of God will give 
us preferential treatment. In other words, God will be partial towards you. I mean, if we can use that word permissively, partial. And also, the favor of God is advantage. Having something working with you and working for you that others do not have working for them. That's the favor of God. So when the favor of God is at work in your life, people will always say, why do you think you are the only one that is supposed to be enjoying this? It's the favor of God. Or what makes you think you are going to get it? And then you say, yes, I will. Because daddy loves his children. That's someone who is conscious of God's favor. An advantage is a superior position. The reason most of us are not where we are supposed to be is because of a lack of understanding of God's favor and a lack of understanding of how to take advantage of God's favor. That's why many of us, or most of us, are not where we are supposed to be. As a matter of fact, when you look carefully around, you, you have a broad spectrum of believers who are blaming God. They are blaming God. God did not do this. God has not come through for me. God is not this. God is not that. They have a catalog of things that God did not do. They are involved in the blame game. But let me tell you to be careful. Because there are so many things you do not know before you start blaming God. You need to check yourself thoroughly. If there is a fault at all, it's not God's fault. It's always on the side of man. The favor of God. I remember many years ago when we were students, you know, it was common practice that if a Christian, if a believer does poorly in their academics, the first thing that the relatives, the parents, and even um, colleagues and um, fellow students will blame his fellowship. How many of us remember that? They say instead of going to read in school, yeah, it's every time, fellowship, every day, fellowship, every That's the first thing. Even now, when people are going through, when, when they're having misfortunes and they're having bad experiences and having challenges, the first thing they look at is the, they look at you is because of church. Every time you are going to church, you are going to church. Instead of hustling like other people, you are not hustling and you are saying that nothing is happening. You are going to church, church, church. In, on Monday, church. On Tuesday, church. On Wednesday, church. On, on Thursday, church. And they are blaming church and blaming God. It's a satanic device to take the blame, place it on God, on God so that you can withdraw from the source of your help and the source of your favor. Is somebody listening to me this morning? Hallelujah. The favor of God is God's willingness to unleash upon his children the totality of the resources that he has. Now look at this. In dealing with the subject of favor, I need you to realize that the word favor and grace are synonymous. So you can go through the Bible and read through every scripture where you find grace and you replace it with favor. You will, be, you will not be doing injustice to those scriptures because they mean one and the same. Paul realized the power of favor. So each time he prayed, he wrote to the church, he prayed the prayer for them that the Lord would give them grace. In fact, he said once that the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. you. That is very common in the Pauline epistles. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. We can also say the favor of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The favor of God is so powerful that even God himself, when he became flesh, he needed favor to be able to succeed in his mission. The Bible says that Jesus grew in knowledge. He grew in stature. And he grew in favor with God and man. He had to grow in it. God himself needed favor to succeed on it. Now look at this. The presence of favor does not mean that we fold our hands. Favor does not 
resign us to laxity. Say, God will do it. You see, God will do it. There are many Christians that say that God will do it. And what they are saying is, fold your hands and let God do it. No. Favor is not a signature to abdicate and abdicate your responsibilities. God has his part to play and we have our part to play in every transaction. But favor is the divine ability, the divine resource that is released by God to his children to magnify the output that is supposed to be the consequence of their input. So you do one, God gives you a hundred. That is favor. You do two, God gives you a thousand. That is favor. One shall put a thousand to flight. Two shall put ten thousand to flight. That is favor. Favor is a magnifier. What you would have, what you would have achieved in 50 years, you will achieve it in five years. That is favor. What you do not qualify for will be given to you. That is favor. Look at Psalm 44 and verse 3. He says, For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them. But does it mean they didn't fight? This is talking about the children of Israel in the promised land. How they took over the promised land. The last part of that verse says, And thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. Does it mean they didn't use their sword? They used their sword. Does it mean they didn't pick up arms? They picked up arms. They went to war. But they defeated nations that were stronger than them. That's proof that there was a supernatural edge they had. Favor is the super of God added to our natural that makes it supernatural. You go into an exam. Everybody is smarter than you. In fact, they score higher than you, but you are the one that is selected and employed in the job. That is favor. Or everyone in your level ought to have an edge over you, but you write that exam and you score the highest. That is favor. Can someone say amen? That is the favor of God. The favor of God gives you speed. What you should have done in one year, you will achieve it in 10 days. That is the favor of God. What you would have given you three, we give you 30. That is the favor of God. The favor of God is a catalyst. The favor of God is a multiplier. That's why Jesus could accomplish his mission in three short years. Because of the operation of divine favor. The favor of God makes you much more than what you actually have been. Hallelujah. Declare with me, God's favor enables me to do what I cannot do naturally. The favor of God will enable you to do things, to achieve things. In fact, the, the favor of God will enable you to have things that you couldn't have paid for. If favor is not there, say, look, don't even come here. If you, if you don't have 100%, forget that. But when favor is there, you can buy without money. That's the edge that favor gives us. Hallelujah. Everywhere you turn, there is that invisible assistance that is coming from the immortal and the invisible God. And it keeps moving you forward. And as you turn, testimonies will beckon on you. Answers will embrace you. Breakthroughs will roll out because you have stepped out on the platform of divine favor. They did not take the land by the strength of their arm or by their sword, but because God had favor on them. Favor gave them houses they didn't build. Favor gave them vineyards they did not plant. Favor destroyed the walls of cities that they couldn't have destroyed by themselves. They didn't have the strength. They neither had the technology to do it. It was the favor of God that gave them the supernatural edge. And I believe that God is putting his favor on somebody today that will give you a supernatural edge in the name of Jesus.
The favor of God brings into manifestations things that seem impossible. It looks like this cannot be accomplished from human perspective. But the favor of God guarantees victory. No matter the opposition of the adversary, the favor of God will silence the devil anytime, any day. Look at the book of Psalm 41 and verse 11. David speaking. He said, by this I know that thou favorest me. Did you see that? In other words, this is how I know that the favor of God is at work in my life. Say, this is how I know. Say, this is how I know. This is the litmus test. When I see this, I know that I am favored. Hallelujah. Let's read the last part of that verse together. Because my enemy does not triumph over me. This is how I know. It was the favor of God that was at work when David defeated Goliath because Goliath was stronger physically. Goliath was a more skillful soldier. But the favor of God guided that stone to the forehead of Goliath. That little pebble could not have killed Goliath. But there was a supernatural energy that it became charged with. And that little pebble became an unusual missile. Guided by the favor of God to bring the enemy down. I don't know what opposition has risen up against you. But I'm telling you today that by the favor of God, your enemy will not triumph over you. By the favor of God, the devil will not prevail over you. Let all the witches in your village gather together. They are not as strong as the favor of God. The favor of God will scatter them. And as I speak right now, I declare every gathering that is against you, by the favor of God, I command them to scatter. I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. When we consistently walk in the favor of God, we consistently confess and declare the favor of God, then it is impossible for the enemy to prevent us from succeeding. This is how I know that you have favored me because my enemies do not prevail over me. They can't succeed when the favor of God is upon your life. So every person that is operating in divine favor, the enemy will always fail in their projects against you. The Bible says, surely they shall gather, but not by me. They shall fall for your sake. That scripture is talking about a man, a woman on whose life the favor of God has been activated. He says they will gather, they will surely gang up together, but they will fall for your sake. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, it says that they will come against you one way, but they will flee before you seven ways. Why? Because you are favored, they will scatter. That's the operation of divine favor. When the favor of God is at work in the life of a man, no matter what they plan to do to him, to kill him, he will come out alive. Joseph was favored of God. He, he, the favor of God got him a coat of many colors. His brothers, he, 10 of them, ganged up to kill him, but he came out alive. They threw him into a well, but he came out of the well. They sold him into slavery, but he arrived on the throne as a king. The favor of God will immune you immunize you the favor of god will ensure you from the pit it will prevent the enemy from having the final say concerning your life you can die with the oppression of god's favor upon your life i declare in the name of jesus everything that god has called you to do you will succeed at it because of the favor of god in the name of jesus there was a man in the scriptures in fact, if you, if, you, if you want to study a character in the Bible, a reformer, a transformer, a leader indeed, go and study the book of Nehemiah. There are powerful things that happen all through the scriptures. There are many prayers that people have prayed in the Bible. For instance, Jabez prayed. He said, Lord, enlarge my coast. There was a man that prayed in the Bible and talked to Jesus. He said, Lord Jesus. Help my unbelief. Pa 
powerful prayers. But there is a prayer that Nehemiah prayed. In the book of Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 11. He said, Lord, show me favor. Very short prayer, but very potent. Declare with me, Lord, show me favor. Favor me. Say it, favor me. Say it, favor me. Many times we will need the assistance of a teacher, the assistance of a government or a government official. We will need the assistance of maybe our pastor. We may need the assistance of a governor, a president, a commissioner, the assistance of a CEO in a company, the assistance of a personnel manager, so, someone that you know if they intervene into your case, they will take you to the next level. Isn't it? And then the devil will go and in in intercept your advance to secure that favor through all kinds through all kinds of distractions but there is a prayer you can pray like nehemiah that can change things you can pray lord show me favor before this man Declare with me rules, regulations, policies, laws, constitutions, traditions, and culture. They are changed and they are reversed to my advantage because I am favored of God. The rule was that if you came to the king with a long face, you would be executed. But now, what would have brought him death? provoke life because the favor of God was now in the equation. So the favor of God is that is that component, is that element that comes into the equation that causes the end product to come out to your advantage. You will receive royal favor this week. Somebody in front of me, you are receiving royal favor this week. I said somebody in front of me, the overall boss will call you this week. I said, someone in front of me, the head of that organization, will call you this week and deliver your breakthrough into your hands on the platform of divine favor. Can somebody say amen? The one who is putting on the crown will call you this week. The person that has the authority to bless you will call you this week. That man that has been holding on to the resources you need to make progress will call you this week. In the name of Jesus, your matter will be discussed this week and the end result will favor you. If you believe it, shout amen three times. God, welcome back from that service. I'm sure you are you have a hold of something now that you can use to move to the next level. That's what God wants to happen in your life. Let's say a word of prayer together. My father, I pray for my viewer that the power of your favor will come heavily upon him, upon her. Whoever that man, that woman, that boy, that child is that's making this contact with you through new experience telecast. Do it for them. In the name of Jesus. Yes, stretch your hands out and touch the TV screen because there is a transmission going on now from the very heart of God to you because that's what He wants. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to excel. He wants you to make it in life. He wants you to triumph over the trials of life. I pray for your body to be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for your eyes to be opened. You are hearing me but you can't see me yet receive the touch of God on those eyes to be opened. I pray for those ears to be opened, for your mouth to be loosed so that you can begin to talk again. Every part of your life that needs the healing power of God, receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
you may be saying but pastor I, I don't qualify for all of these things that's what favor is about favor is god intervening on your behalf even when you don't qualify so celebrate that's the good news of the kind of god that we serve i want to invite you to the hilltop this week you see we can only share with you a little clip of all that is going on in this season in the hilltop international christian center so i want you to come come and get a full dose of this do me a letter text message email let's make a connection and draw closer i believe that this connection will bring you into a new dispensation in your life and the fulfillment of your destiny on wednesday every wednesday we have communion service what a powerful way to connect divine favor on sundays three services our business service is 7 a.m our miracle service is 9 a.m and our celebration service is 11 a.m three explosive services every sunday until we meet again on this same channel at the same time this is pastor chris or saying new experiences that's what god means for you and it will happen as you continue to watch this telecast in jesus mighty name amen for this message please request for the message number above you can also request for other messages by reverend chris oare when you call 084-779-290-0803-182-6714-0803-182-6712 or 0803-182-6702 for more details about reverend chris oare the hilltop international christian center and other products and programs please visit our website www.hilltopinternational.org